Hello everyone, we'll continue the topic. Whenever I performed any action on the screen, PAI called. It means if you are clicking on submit button, PAI called. If you are clicking on to navigate button, PAI of 100 called. So you have a single, single area to write a code. You write a logic in PAI of the screen 100. But if user is clicking on submit button, only this logic should execute. And whenever user will click on the navigate button, this logic should execute. It means our logic should execute based upon the action of the button. And when we cover the topic, we put so much stress that every button has a function code and you can write a logic based upon that function code. If I will go to my screen 100. For the navigate button, our function code is header, header. And for the submit button, the function code is display. So we will divide the logic based upon this function code. Now, whenever we are clicking on to the button, we have a system variable that is SciUcom. What is SciUcom? It is a system variable for user command. It is a system variable for user command, which will capture the value of the function code. Suppose if I will click on submit button, then SciUcom will be submit. If I SciUcom will be display because I gave the function code display. If I will click on to that navigate button, SciUcom will be header. So we will write the logic based upon this system variable. We will see. I will go to PAI. And I will write the logic based upon SciUcom. If SciUcom is equal to display, it means we have to only execute this logic. If SciUcom is equal to header, we have to write a code to call the screen 200. This is our requirement. I will go for pretty printer. I'll check the syntax and I will activate the whole module pool program. And we will see now. I'll put a breakpoint so that understanding will be more. I'll close the other sessions. And we will run and see. Firstly, I'm giving the input and clicking on to submit button. And you can see process after input is called and you can see SciUcom is display. It captured the function code of the button and it fetched the data and it binded that data with the screen fields. Now this if condition is false, so it will not call the screen 200. And you can see based upon the input, our output is coming. Now suppose I'm clicking on to the button to navigate to item details. Now you can see SciUcom is header 
Now, first, if condition is false, second, if condition is true, and it will simply call the screen 200. I will go to back button, and this is the case. Now, one thing, I'll just simply run the program. I will give the input based upon this, the output is coming. But have you seen that input is not visible to us, whatever the input we passed? I did some one mistake. I will correct that mistake. In the previous video, I removed the output of that particular thing. So I'll simply select this output so that we can see we can see whatever the input we passed. I will close and activate the program. Now I will give a input submit. This is correct. Now if I will click on to this button, now this is my screen 200. Now we will go for one important understanding which people always confused. Suppose simple. I am running the program. I am giving input and I am clicking on submit button. Whenever I clicked on to submit button, PAI event called. PAI event called. This logic triggered and bit binded the data with our output fields. Now, on submit button, you are not calling the screen 200. You are not calling. It means 200 screen will not call. If 200 screen will not call, 200 screen PBO will also not call. Now the question comes, people always understand that whenever you clicked on to submit button, your output came, okay, 200 screen will not call because this logic is under if condition. Now, is this the case that PAI of 100 called, but after that nothing called? No, this is not the right perception. The right perception is after that PBO of 100 will call. See, if you are calling the another screen, yes, definitely PBO of that another screen will call. But here we are not calling any screen. If you are clicking on submit button, it means to display the screen 100 again, to display the same screen again, it should call the PBO of 100 again. This is very, very important point and I will show you in the debugging. I'll put a breakpoint in PAI of 100. I will put a breakpoint in PBO of 100 also. And we will see whenever it is not calling the screen 200, the same screen PBO should call. Yes, because this is the definition of PBO. PBO event is calling before displaying a screen. Now, if I will run the module pool program, Firstly, PBO of 100 called. My 100 screen came. I am giving input. Clicking on to submit button. PAI of 100 called. It fetched data, binded data. Now, 200 screen is not calling. But it does not mean that PBO will not call. Yes, PBO will call again to display the screen 100, to display the screen 100. And this is the case. Now, if I will click on to this button, 
in this case p a i of 100 called but you are calling the screen 200 at that point of time whenever you are clicking on navigate button so it means in this case pbo of 200 will call so never confuse because if you have a single screen you are not calling the another screen it means pbo of that 100 screen should call before displaying the screen now last point in the video you opened the screen painter through this layout button but same thing we can open through sc51 also sc51 is the transaction code for screen painter so you can directly go to sc51 also sc51 is the transaction code for screen painter sc51 so if you want to open the layout editor of screen 100 you can simply select and you can display and you can see same to same screen appear so many times people are using sc51 transaction code also to open the screen painter that's it in this video rest part will continue in the next videos thank you